my legs really hurt to like lean on. It hurts to sit cross-legged because I waxed my legs today for the first time so they're quite painful. <laughs> hey guys, so I've been having a lot of fun with different coloured eyeshadows recently. If you haven't noticed from last week's video and or if you're following me on Instagram, I've been playing with a lot of colours more recently, at least this year. I've also got some highlight on. Can you see that? Can you see the highlight? And I've been thinking about the fact that I never really wore makeup as a child. The one time I did wear makeup, I had this little palette from Claire's. It was about this big and it has like rainbows in it, like rainbow coloured. It was amazing. It was my dream as a child. The only person I ever looked up to for makeup inspiration was Hayley Williams. And this is back when she was all like, whoa, I never meant to break. And her makeup was like super out there and edgy. And I was like, that's what I want. If I'm gonna wear makeup. I'm gonna go hard. We're gonna do it right. We're gonna go all out there. And I did it once and I posted a photo up on my Facebook and then I got to school the next day and some kids were like, wow, you wear a lot more makeup outside of school. And I was like, heck yeah, I do. Literally wore it once, so <laughs> she's a liar. Today I thought, because I, I just like went out of frame, hello. Now I'm one of those people from cartoons when you don't actually see their entire face. So today I thought with my makeup knowledge that I have now and knowing how to blend and owning this many brushes, there's a hair on it as always, gross. I would redo the makeup that I did when I was younger, but better, she said hopefully. I thought that would be an interesting concept. I will pull up the photo, even though you really cannot see, and I mean you cannot see, what's going on, because I had no concept of how to do eyeshadow, and I thought eyeshadow could only go on the lid, and not like up in this bit. But today is the day when we fulfill those dreams. So there's a blurry photo here that I'm gonna flash up, very blurry, can't see anything. I attempted winged eyeliner. That was with a cold pencil. And if you're thinking, hey, I've seen this makeup look before, I did recreate exactly how I used to do my makeup. Today is not that day. I'm not doing that again. I'm just, I'm doing a better version of that. Uh, there's also this photo, you can't really see anything that's going on. This photo, that you definitely can't see anything, and I look actually crazy in it. But I can tell you exactly what is going on in this photo even though you can't see it. You really can't see it. But I'm almost convinced that I had yellow, orange, red. That was what's going on. Not just like one block colour. So today we're going to do that. But better. I'm busting out this palette again. So yeah, let's get to it. First thing, ow, <laughs> ow, <laughs> that was my leg. The first thing I'm going to use is eye primer which is Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. I literally bought this, I think I've said this before, I bought it because everyone raves about it online, but also, who doesn't want to buy something that says the word potion in it? Doesn't that make you feel like a wizard? If you put it on your face? I should have a mirror involved in this situation. So first things first, I think I'm gonna start with a base color. Damn it, all my fluffy brushes are like dirty. I'm just gonna cut that rogue hair off because it's been bothering me for months. Goodbye hair. And I'm gonna take, so I'm gonna take this color, this color from the Revolution Life on the Dance Floor guest list uh, in cha-cha, cha-cha, real smooth. And I'm gonna use that as a crease colour, is that what that's called? It's just giving a little bit of definition, maybe, I don't know, to <laughs> a little bit of definition into the crease line and also giving me a nice base of this is where my actual crease is that, I don't know how old I was, 2010, what's that? 2010? Year 9? Oh my goodness. How old are you in year 9? 13? I literally couldn't tell you. Yeah, you must be about 13 in year 9. That's scary. I was one of the youngest people in my year group because I'm an August baby. Okay, now that we've done that and that's the boring thing out of the way, we're gonna get into some color. I think I'm gonna take this brush, which is a, a shadow brush, and I'm gonna dip into that yellow color from Bleach London. Right, now that I'm bored of that, uh, I'm going to grab, why is everything always under my fat knee? And <laughs> I just can't see it. My knees aren't fat, but. <laughs> Normally, when I'm doing makeup or eyeshadow in general, I like to work from the outside inwards. The first color I wanted to use is this red, here, my brush is still wet. I meant the, 
thing wet. Damp as heel. Nothing's coming off that because it's so wet. Put that And it was at that moment Naomi realized she screwed up. And I'm gonna work that into the crease line also, as well as almost tapering the edge of the eye. I don't know why I started with that yellow. That was a really random move. I, I look literally like I have a rooster on both my eyes. So now that that's a thing, I'm gonna take, I'm just gonna clean off my brush a little bit. I'm gonna take uh, my Lime Crime palette, which is the first time I'm ever using my Lime Crime palette um, since I brought it. It's the Venus 2 one. I'm gonna take Jam and I'm gonna introduce that there. Hello, red colour. Meet Jam. Jam, meet red colour. Nice to meet you. Nice to see you too. What do you do for a living? I'm an eyeshadow. Okay, and then we're gonna go in with another bleach one, which is this orange one here. <laughs> and I'm gonna swirl that round really aggressively because I don't feel like that one has a lot of colour payoff sometimes. And I'm gonna introduce that one to both the orange one and the yellow one. My goodness, isn't that this little social colour? But just you wait until you meet the red. Oh my goodness, you are going to be the party animal. What am I even talking about right now? Now that we are looking exactly like how I used to look, I'm gonna blend that out. And if you're thinking, Naomi, this doesn't actually look any better. I know. <laughs> Which is why I'm gonna go in with more red on the side with a brush that I cannot find. With an angled brush, I'm going to go in with a darker red. I think this one, this one. I'm just gonna angle that more on the side. And that's not literally any darker than the actual one that I just put on my eyelid, that's good. I'm gonna go in with an even darker one than that. Blending that out again. A new trick that I've learned as of late is to grab some of the colour that you're using here. I'm bringing it up. I'm actually using the colour Mustard from the Lime Creme palette because that's slightly darker than the yellow and I really want the dust to get out of my eye. I really want the yellow in the inner corner to pop so if I use like a darker one maybe it'll work a bit better. I'm gonna go back in with those oranges in a second. I'm gonna do that now. <laughs> I just put that brush down. Jammy, jammy jam. Plop that there. Because it's like, don't forget about me, friends. I'm still here. I know we haven't talked in a little bit, but I'm still here, buddies. I just jab my actual eye line. I just realized why my eyes water so much. It's because I actually get eyeshadow in my eyeball every day. Right, so we were introducing oranges again. Going in again with some red. And don't worry about the thing on the side, I'm gonna clean it up later on. Could have used tape. It's not how I'm living my life. So I discussed earlier why I, well, that I didn't wear makeup that much in school, or literally ever. Um, and the reason I didn't is because I liked sleep a lot more than makeup. Just taking a brown Revolution palette. I'm going in there slightly with a brown, because I'm gonna start darkening the edge anything I just made it look a lot lighter so I don't know what I'm talking about even darker one I'm gonna start to like fade that in more to the crease sneaky little dark color and I know that this is distracting you it's distracting me so clean up the edge a little bit my eyes are crooked what's new it's gunk in my eye there's orange on my face now that's pleasant. Pleasantries. Damn, makeup's messy. That's fine. We'll live with whatever the heck's going on with my cheek. Quickly and quietly place some darkness. Maybe I should just go in with the black. Let's just live all of the dreams of my childhood and go in with some black. So it's like a full sunset right now. We are lion kinging our eyes. Oh my goodness, that was dark. I didn't mean for that to happen. Going back in with some reds again, because now that the dark's on there, it's gonna make it turn into a dark red. Oh my god, it's like painting! Back in with the orange. He's making himself known to the rest of the colours again. He's like, I still support you guys. <laughs> I don't know what I'm even on about right now. A red out of that one. We're gonna go back in with that yellow, because I heard you, you were like, the yellow's gone now. The yellow's coming back, don't worry. 
He is quite literally the star of the show. We thought that Jam was the star of the show. No, no. It's this yellow colour. He's the one that everyone actually came to see. And look, he brought a friend. He brought a friend. And it's a shinier yellow. <laughs> so I'm taking this shiny yellow that's like right next to it in my palette. It's nowhere next to yours in your palette because we haven't got the same one. And I'm putting that quite literally on then the little dippy bit. A bit of that mustard. I'm gonna shove that in there again. My eye is actually profusely leaking now. I've bunked the case. Crack the code. I accidentally somehow get eyeshadow in my eye a lot of the time. I'm actually gonna go back in with that dark brown black mixture I did. Okay. Blendy end. <laughs> Blendy end. <laughs> Blendy. <laughs> Sorry, I was just like emphasizing that word that I just said wrong. Blending that out. One more bit of jam, just because it really truly does not want to be forgotten at all by anyone. <laughs> I don't know what that means. People are gonna think that I'm having a actual mental breakdown. It's fine, I'm not that much. <laughs> I'm just like darkening up that crease again. It's almost a smoky eye at this point. Mm, blendy blendy. Okay, and the next thing to do is to add eyeliner, I feel, because that was, that was and still is a major part of my eye looks. I just looked at myself in the viewfinder and I actually look insane. <laughs> I would like my eye to stop watering. That would be fabutastic. Fabutasso. So I'm gonna go add eyeliner and I'll be back in like two shakes of a lamb's tail. <laughs> I forgot I was recording, that's awkward. Um, of an intermission because I, my eye wouldn't stop leaking and then I jabbed myself in the eye with some tissue and then I put some eye drops in. It was not helping the situation at all. I'm just gonna cover this up with some concealer. Don't mind me, just concealing my problems. I wish you could conceal, conceal all your problems, like you can conceal makeup problems. That would be real helpful. <laughs> okay, so now that I've done that, and had a series of other events happening. I'm gonna start doing the under bit of my eye and we're taking a nude pencil. This is the same nude pencil that I used in my last tutorial thing. And we're just gonna line the under bit of my eye. Now I don't wanna ignore the fact that I had eyeliner in my actual waterline that's not of the nude persuasion. So I'm gonna add a brown, uh, this is Earth gosh, same as the eyeliner before, but it was nude. And I'm just gonna add that to the inner port, inner part of the eye, just to like give it a bit more of a dramatic effect. And then we're gonna take a yeah, this shading brush. Oh, okay. And we're gonna repeat everything that we just did here, but here, orange wise. Gonna start off with the one from Bleach. I'm gonna attempt to add it and make it feel included in this, even if it doesn't want to. It doesn't seem like it wants to. Okay, well, Jam's gonna get all the <laughs> attention then. We're gonna go in with Jam, pop that underneath the eyeball. Now that we look crazy, we're gonna look even crazier and we're gonna add some red onto that. And I'm gonna go halfway into the eye bit there, mainly concentrating on the outside areas. I don't know why I was making that old man face whilst doing that. That's literally not not an old man face opportunity. We're just gonna ignore the fact that my eye is now leaking again. I look crazy. Josh Dunn who? And then we're gonna go in with a dark red like before. And then I'm gonna blend that out. I know you were thinking, that's insane. What is she gonna do next? I'm just gonna blend it out, don't worry about it. And then we're gonna go in with an even smaller brush and we're gonna Add in those dark colours very closely to the waterline. Not in the waterline, but close to it. And almost joining it up with the eyeliner. And I'm gonna blend that out too. Where did I what did I just do with it? This one? Please excuse this eye, it's not cooperating at all. It's just gonna be that sad child that cries on the sideline, not wanting to be a part of the game. Um, <laughs> I think I'm gonna add, I'm gonna add the shiny yellow that didn't make an appearance at all with the yellow. It was too shy to make an appearance. And I'm just gonna add that underneath it and a little bit onto the top. 
I'm also gonna just clean up my eyebrow area. I look like I have surgery mask, surgery um, lines on me. Like, remove this, turn this up further and stuff. I like to use this brush to soften out the edges, just in case you haven't noticed, because once you've put concealer over the top, it kind of makes it a very harsh line. But now it's not so harsh. Okay, and now I feel like we need a highlight color. I'm just going to use this one that's in this palette because it's like a nice champagne-y kind of one. Or maybe, nope, yep, this one. And I never used to do this, but I think that makes it look, I mean, I never used to blend. So this looks cool. This actually looks really cool. I'm really impressed with myself. Ha ha ha. If little Naomi could see me now. <laughs> I think I'm gonna add some lashes and I will be back with you in a few. <laughs> no eyelashes, but mascara. I literally had to redo this eye because I tried to put eyelashes on, glue gun in my eye, my eye was already leaking beforehand. It was just a bit of a mess. I'm pretty sure I almost just went blind, but we're persevering and hopefully my eyesight won't be deteriorating. I was also wearing red lipstick in that picture. It was a very vibrant red. Maybe a brown. Lolita. <laughs> that flew. To stay with the theme, we should go for a red, but why not? I haven't worn a red lipstick in a little while. Wow, that's bold. And on my teeth. Well, there you have it. My rendition of red edition. <laughs> My rendition of my childhood makeup that I used to do, or did do once. That one makeup look that I did that one time. Should we try layering it? <gasps> that would be fun. Now this would be a cool night out look. <laughs> okay, this has nothing to do with the video in hand, but Dave Days just hearted a comment on one of his videos that I commented, and like the, the small child in me from like when I used to watch him has just gone, that's really lame. I'm sorry. Anyway, this is the finished look. <laughs> so I feel like we should take some photos of how I used to take photos in these photos. What's up, buddy? Okay, so I'm kind of like... I think that's about accurate. And <laughs> the next one. My thumb is like kind of slightly over the camera. So I'm like... <laughs> okay, and then the final one. Okay, so the final one is the classic mirror shot. Yes, boy. <laughs> right. Um, okay, please excuse the amount of stuff that's in the background. I'm not smiling, I'm like... <laughs> okay, I hope that was for as entertaining. Did I just talk like this all the time? No, Naomi, up here. You gotta be posting things up here. I know my angles now. <laughs> I know that my eyeliner is... <laughs> I mean, I don't know my angles at all, because I'm like... Okay, so those were my, this is, this is that. This is the video that you just watched. <laughs> so that's the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope this was a nice little trip down memory lane, even though you didn't know me back then. I think I literally just started YouTube when this was going on, when this, when this mess was going on the first time. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope I've somewhat improved since then. Cool. Catch you guys on the flip side. Have a beautiful day and I will see you next week with my eyeball still intact, hopefully, um, with a brand new video. Okay, bye! Oh.